As the summer sun and intense heat continue, it's left many of the plants in our landscape struggling. But I took this opportunity to walk through the studio gardens and find those plants that seem to be thriving in these uh, hot, hot temperatures. And so today I'm going to share a selection of those, starting with the color blue, blue days, blue lovegrass, and blue chip budlia. Well, this is blue days, evolvulus cumaratus, and this is grown as an annual in Oklahoma. It's hardy to zone eight. I can't quite get it to overwinter here. There's a native relative, uh, Volvulus natalianus, which is hardy to zone five, but it's a rare find uh, in the nursery trade and one I'm hunting for. But I, I'm happy to grow this as an annual. Uh, it's just a prolific flower. It's covered blue all season long. In the winter we'll put it in hanging baskets and bring it indoors where we'll, it'll continue to flower throughout the winter months. A beautiful blue for the landscape. We have another blue that we're going to go look at, a grass. This is another blue we have that loves the heat. This is blue lovegrass, Aragrostis eleotii, and this cultivar is called Wind Dancer. And what a great name. These seed heads just sway in the slightest breeze and really take off as the wind picks up. Now I selected this cultivar for the very narrow blue-green foliage. These beautiful blades, they have a nice mounding and arching uh, architecture really form a nice plant and I just love the seed heads and how they seem to float above the foliage. They've been getting a lot of attention here in the garden. We have one more blue plant to look at and that's the lo and behold butterfly bush blue chip. This selection was released on the market a few years back and I've planted it. It actually had a very slow start in the garden. I wasn't sure what it was going to do. This year it's really taken off despite the heat. Now the draw of this dwarf butterfly bush is that it reaches a, a mature height of only three feet and it looks really nice planted in a mass like this. It'll continue to bloom all summer long without deadheading. That's another benefit we have of it. And we get all these wonderful characteristics and we still have some very fragrant flowers that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. Well, I'm going to move out of the blues to a yellow plant that has been drawing a lot of attention here in the gardens. All of our visitors to the garden recently have stopped to ask about this plant. This is a false sunflower, Helianthus multiflorus hybrid called Sunshine Daydream. And with these beautiful double yellow flowers, there's certainly a lot of excitement to this plant. One of the things I really love about it is its mass. It has these beautiful flowers atop really tall, sturdy stems. They can reach a maximum height of five to six feet and the flowers are non-stop. We've been blooming since June. It'll continue blooming through August with these wonderful flowers. And this is just one plant. It makes a really nice specimen. I imagine it would look wonderful as a tall backdrop to some lower perennials as well. Well, I have another yellow plant that I want to look at back in our painter's palette. It is the Tiger Eyes Sumac. When it comes to foliage, not much can compete with the tiger eyes sumac. This is Rus typhinia and it has this gorgeous golden foliage all season long. It'll intensify even as the autumn comes on. And we get a little bit of red coloration in some of the new growth as well. Just a beautiful coloration. Now if you grow this in the shade, it'll be a little more green. Um, loses that golden color, but it still performs well. One of the things I love about it is that we have the beautiful red stems that just complement the golden foliage so beautifully. A great yellow for the landscape, tiger eyes sumac. <laughs> 